is up guys welcome back to a new video so today I'm t uh, changing my spark plugs to racing plugs uh, a few videos ago I changed them to RS7 plugs uh, but I got some messages uh, on Facebook and in my DM about uh, oh let me take this turn about these plugs uh, these RS7 plugs not being great for uh, high tuned uh, applications so I switched back to the plugs I had before uh, so these are the old ones you probably seen it in the video and now I've got wait I have to take a turn again so right now I have uh, uh, those RS7 plugs still in the car uh, sorry for the strange camera angle but I don't have the GoPro so uh, so this is the plugs I have now I'll do a little unbox and show you how they look. I know there's fake ones around as well, so I tell, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the fake ones, how to spot them. Uh, so I'm going to my brother right now, MCM Heume, uh, to change the spark plugs. I don't know if he has time. Next to that I have some more uh, cool stuff. Uh, you don't know if I can show it right now. Uh, you can see it. I'll show it when we get there. I got some round exhaust tips. I think it's 105 millimeter. Not sure. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, show them also. Um, so yeah, let's do a little unbox. So I bought this little box for 230 euros. Uh, so that's uh, around 60 euros a piece. Uh, I know you, they are, at some places they are a little more expensive and at some places they are a little cheaper. Um, but I think this price is pretty good, 230 euros on a German website somewhere. So this right here are the plugs. Uh, NGK racing competition plugs let me get the numbers uh, for you so this is the R7438-9 I think you call it a dash so that's the racing spark plugs on the other side it's the same numbers let me show you the inside so this is the box now I know Oh, I hear there's uh, fake plugs on the market so that's why I'm showing you the box and everything maybe on the fake plugs they are different I don't know so this is the spark plug outside the box uh, as you can see the uh, the metal uh, I don't know how to call this exactly uh, the finish that's that's what I was looking for the finish of the metal is really nice so you can see it's really uh, really good really shiny everywhere uh, on the on the fake ones this metal uh, isn't uh, finished uh, properly so you'll see some dents and, and things like that also on the tip and of course right here I don't know if you can see it right there you'll have Japan um, and you'll have the number so the R7438-9 and then uh, this let me see so after that number I count four stripes and then it's the word Japan then right there NGK Iridium so these are the plugs so make sure you don't get fake ones you don't want this these things uh, breaking off in your engine or anything like that so yeah those are the plugs i hear they are the best ones for the high horsepower applications i want to thank the uk guys that uh, let me know that uk tuners don't even use the r7 plugs for the high uh, horsepower applications um, so yeah, if you're one of those guys, thanks, thanks for commenting. So on the fake uh, plugs, the finish is really bad. So you'll have all uh, these jagged edges on here, on the little pin and on the strut right there. And also a way to recognize this is there's some like white powder in this ring right here. You'll be able to see, I don't know if you can get it on camera, probably not. There's some white powder inside there in that ring. Uh, the fake ones don't have it, uh, the real ones do. 
Uh, so that's two ways to recognize the fake ones. So make sure you got the good ones. Uh, just wanted to say that. <laughs> There we have it, everything is installed. Um, I want to thank the guys from the UK that uh, commented, told me about the RS7 plugs. Uh, so in UK, I hear tuners don't use the RS7 plugs uh, because of, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if this is a myth or, but I hear stories that the pins broke off at the uh, high horsepower applications. Uh, in the end, uh, I had no problems, but I only used them like for 1,000 kilometers. Uh, then I changed them back. So uh, thanks to those guys. So if you want to say something about uh, spark plugs, uh, you know I'm not a spark plug guru or anything. So if you have some ideas on spark plugs you want to share, just do it in the comments. You know I want the car community or the you know MK7 Golf uh, R GTI guys. Uh, to, to be able to find some inf information on spark plugs under my video uh, so if you want and you, you're uh, more into spark plugs you can leave uh, some uh, details in the comments what spark plugs to use like at 200, 300, 400 horsepower for me I'm only using uh, the, the ones I had now since I had 600 horsepower I used the RS7 one for, for like 1000 kilometers uh, like you know but uh, now I switch back again. So for me, those are the best plugs. Um, but I can uh, imagine if you have a stock uh, R or GTI, you won't be needing a racing plug. So leave information, information like that in the comments for the rest of the guys. Uh, thanks for helping me out with that one. Uh, so that's it for this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment if you wanna help my channel, uh, channel grow. Um, if you want to see more on Golf R's or other uh, cool cars, you know, subscribe. Uh, this car, I'm going to do some pulls uh, sometimes, all that good stuff uh, later on. So uh, if you don't want to miss it, subscribe. And for the rest, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.